Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. We are the very last people here at this campground because it actually is Sunday for us today as well. So I've been chatting to you guys in the comments of our video for the last four hours or so, but it's time to get going because the flies have awoken and we have a lot of exploring to do today. Chatting to you guys via the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Shark Bay and we're making our way to the very top of the peninsula today but the first stop as you come into the Shark Bay area is Shell Beach. It is beautiful. It's so pretty and it's not just a nice name for it as well. There is no sand, it's just all these little teeny tiny shells. Oh there's a bit of sand yeah. under there. But anyway yeah just covered in these shells. We also read on the way in that the water here is twice as salty as the open ocean. So if you're like me and you're not very good at swimming, it's probably a good place to come have a float. You're just going to float. <laughs> yeah, you probably come out in a layer of salt. Look how clear it is, Megan. It's so pretty, hey? As you're getting closer to the water, they're getting whiter. Yeah. Pick, pick them up, have a look. What do they look like? It's like every 90s mum's bathroom, you know, you see these in a jar. <laughs> how are you going to feel with your oh, feet I can't if it's salty? I can't push my foot down. You're kidding. I'm serious. No. It won't go down. Stop lying. <laughs> Are you going to taste it? Oh. It's very salty. <laughs> so funny. What is? There's these two women over there at the toilets as well. And I could tell straight away that they probably don't travel much. And I could hear them yelling and screaming. Oh my God, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, you ain't experienced nothing yet. <laughs> that was a good toilet really? compared to what we've seen. <laughs> It's so funny. Anyway. But yeah, the plan today to head all the way to the top of the peninsula of Francois Perron. I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly. National Park. I'll write it there for you. And, and from what we've seen. Yeah, we have visited once before, but in terrible overcast weather. And yeah. you know how everything looks a bit gloomy in overcast weather. So, so excited to experience it today in some sunshine. But the hope is to get a campsite there and it's first come, first serve. Yes. So, we're just going to head straight to try and snag a camp today. We've got to pick up some bait on the way because I want to fish. And maybe a snack. And some snackies. Made it to the National Park. Got to let the tyres down because this, this National Park is actually quite boggy, especially when you get to the top of the peninsula where we're going to hopefully see a cave, eh? Yeah! We're going cave hunting. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> well, we're almost there. And the road is bad. <laughs> I can happily say... Oh, we're getting hot. For real? Yes. Ooh, and I stalled it. We might be bogged. We're bogged. As soon as it came into the section where there was a big sign saying high clearance four wheel drives, experience needed, and all the rest, we got bogged not even 100 metres in. So we'll lend the tyres down a bit more. We got bogged. First time ever. We're bogged. So, yeah. So I'm letting the tyres down and hopefully we can just drive straight out. Let's see what happens, eh? There we go. No pressure. Okay. Okay. Guys. <laughs> that was the worst corrugations. It's I mean, not even over yet. That's not even the word for it. Corrugations is not even the word, eh? Whoop-de-doos. Is that not what they're called? <laughs> they're called whoop-de-doos. I, I think I've lost the plot. We're always there anyway. That was rough. 
<laughs> I even tried to get out of the car and film a little bit to try and show you how bumpy it is, but it didn't really look that bad. So you're just gonna have to trust us. But yeah, we've made it to the peninsula. Car's going great, considering we did just do the new fit out. So I was a bit worried about that. It seems to be holding up. I read that there's a cave down there. And whenever we want to do anything that's like based on tide times, we're never here at the right time. But today it turns out we are here at low tide, which is when you can see, see the cave. I have no idea where it is or what we're looking for, but we're going to try. And hello troopies. That is what we thought was our cave. I thought it looked like it from over there. <laughs> but maybe we keep going, maybe we gotta go walk in the water, go around yeah. there. Yeah. Guys, this is beautiful. So happy to be back in the red dust. Oh, how good. You can see fish in the water. You can Crazy. literally see them swimming around. Turns out the tide's too high for the cave, guys. But my gosh, that drive up was totally worth it. I'm getting broom. James Price Point vibes. That's what it is, eh? It's just incredible and it's got the white sand. It's got the white sand. Yeah. Red rocks and the blue water as well. So if so you don't want to go all the way up to Broome, you can just come here. Just come to Shark Bay. We've actually never been here. No, never here. I just saw a massive fish really? right there. Look, there it is. Oh my gosh, it's jumping out of the water. Good thing you got your bait this time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hit my big belly there, trying to tell me something. Should I go get the fishing rod? What, to fish here? Yeah, I bought some jigs. Don't we wanna, we're not sure about camping because it's just oh, yeah. a first come first serve, there's no booking. So we're thinking we wanna get to the campground as soon as possible to yeah. make sure we can sleep there tonight. We better make our way there, eh? You can fish at the campground though. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it to camp. Beach is right there. Look at that. Yeah, we got a good one, hey. Let's go right now and go have a look. Wow, this is stunning. Oh my goodness. This is it. <laughs> this is it. So we're getting onto some dinner. I'm thinking because the sun is gonna set like right there in front of our campsite, we're gonna take our dinner down, have a little picnic, nice and special, but I'm loving all the bench space we've got in here because the sun has got to us today, we're not used to it, so it's good to be able to hide out in here away from the sun. And we're having our burrito bowls tonight, which you've probably seen about a thousand times, but it's the best and cheapest meal that you can possibly cook on the road. Not gonna lie guys, we're getting a bit hangry there. Me? Me? <laughs> Very hangry. Such a stress head, he's like, we're gonna miss the sunset! And I'm like, Jack, is it really the end of the world if we do miss the sunset? Let's just settle down, alright? It's just so many things. We'll live to see another sunset, hopefully. I wanna get so many shots. I wanna get the drone shot. I wanna get the GoPro shot. I wanna, I really enjoy doing it. And especially when you get an opportunity like this. It you... is gonna be a really special one. But that's what I'm thinking. I think it's still gonna be beautiful even after the sun sets tonight. Yeah. So we've got plenty of time. There is zero wind. I know, how crazy no, is that? No we wind. are on a peninsula in Western Australia and we have no wind. What? And goats and cats. We got goats. Dream come true. Do so, you know how I feel about goats. Oh my goodness. You're <laughs> so cute. I'm actually going to cry. I'm so happy. Give him, give him a little pat. Stay tuned for tomorrow morning, guys. Well, the whole day tomorrow is a very, very special day and we can't wait to share it with you. So, we'll see you in the morning. See you then. Oh, I just feel so lucky. Oh, 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 still can't believe.
everybody and happy anniversary to us. You. <laughs> Eight years Megan and I have been together today. I should have gifted you the, the prettier looking breakfast than getting the, the pot like you usually no, do. It's fine. Apples and porridge. It's the best. What a great anniversary present. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. I don't like that Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Last night guys, I ended up catching so many fish. We'll put the photos on the screen there now. I don't know what they were, but so excited. They weren't big enough, so I had to put them back. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. But uh, if you can leave a comment down below letting me know what fish they were, that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, that'd be interesting. And if I could eat them. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure that was too you small. You scratch yourself in your sleep last night. Yeah, it's been there for a few days. We have a, an app that records sleep talking and last night it got Jack going, 10 centimetres, 10 centimetres. Maybe you were thinking about how big the fish No, I was should be. building a boat, I remember now. Oh. <laughs> I was building a boat, I remember. This is one of those situations where I'm really kicking myself for booking and planning ahead because we could have happily stayed here for an entire week, I think. Yeah. That was an amazing campsite. We're not going to stay too sad about it because we are visiting some really cool spots today, but first we have to tackle that bumpy track that we are on yesterday, but to save you guys from hearing us complain about it again, do you want to do a little we magic trick to get us to our spot? We're going to use the power of editing. Okay, we've arrived. We came to Little Lagoon. We actually did a drive-by of the Big Lagoon as well, which was amazing. That pink Stunning. orange sand right next to that turquoise water. I feel like that's more for boats and like maybe kayaks and things, whereas I just wanted to go for a, a little float. So we came to the Little Lagoon instead. From here, it just looks like one big swimming pool. It's, so it's incredible. Cool. Okay, so we've made our way to Monkey Mire now. For those who don't know, you have to pay an extra fee, $15 per adult to get into the conservation park. We are staying here tonight. I booked it for our anniversary, a little bit special. I was having the time of my life floating in the lagoon and Jack's getting very impatient, saying we have to go, we have to go. And I'm like, well, just because you can check in from two doesn't mean you need to. It's not like you planned anything else. And he just looks at me and goes, you've ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, she's not like, very good at keeping secrets out, Jack. Is she's <laughs> like, well, it's not like you've organised a surprise or anything. <laughs> and then I was just like, <laughs> so there is a surprise in there. Because oh, uh, I'm the one that booked the room, so I know what's going on there. But, but she doesn't know what it is. Yeah. So I've made an extra call to organise a little something. <laughs> now let's just hope that they've done it, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. You go check in and I'll just wait here. Yes, you just wait here and go, no swimming, <laughs> nothing, just stay right there. What happened? Turns out they tried to call me yesterday and uh, confirm that I still wanted to do the surprise. And it uh, turns out they will not be doing what I asked them to do. Oh. <laughs> so it's pretty funny but not So funny. what was it then? I don't want to tell you. Oh, okay. No, the this surprise is... Is, is, it, is this the old double fake out <laughs> happening right now? <laughs> You're not good at surprises. Oh, classic. Is it? Yeah, it's the double fake out. <laughs> you got me again. That way. What? This way? Yeah. All right. Watch out. He's good. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> oh my God, he's coming. Oh my God. Hey, how you going? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> they said to watch out for the emus. They're everywhere. really loud. <laughs> There's people right there and I'm screeching. Oh, wow. There you go. I got you a cheese board and a white wine. Oh, we never have wine. This is going to be so special. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then they did that. Cute little honeymoon <laughs> thing. Oh, classic. Give me a cuddle. Happy anniversary. Love you. Love you. Mwah. This is so it's nice. It's amazing. This is really, really nice. Look at the view. Uh, enjoy it. This is our one accommodation of this Northwest trip. It is, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back on the red dirt before you know it. 
Oh, I reckon it's Let's fine. have a little look around. Oh, we'll do a little tour <laughs> yeah. and then we'll, then we'll smash the cheese ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give okay. us a tour. Can we have a phone? It's been a while since I've done one of these. Hey, okay. Nice big double bed and dining room table. Are you going to have a television? You're going to test the bed? Can I? I don't want to wreck this though. Oh, uh, yeah, bad. actually, no, let's not wreck it. <laughs> Oh, actually, we have a two beds. We have the naughty bed, the doghouse bed. It's actually quite nice to spread out sometimes. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's cold in here and I'm still wet from the lagoon. That's the TV remote. Oh, <laughs> the remote's here. Oh, we have hot chocolates. Whenever we come to accommodation, we always take these. Coffee and frother, because let's be honest, it wouldn't feel as fancy as the trophy anymore if we didn't have a pod machine and a frother. Bathroom. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, I like the little pendant, mate. Time for cheese We're gonna leave room for dinner. Pass us your cup. We have the bird joining us. There you go. Wait, we got a cheese. Yeah. Did you try to follow that? Good morning everyone, as you can see we are on the beach here Good morning. for the main attraction here at Monkey Mire, it is the dolphin feeding. Yeah, so they do a feeding show thing over there with old people, but we thought uh, let's just get the old zoom lens out and we'll <laughs> sit over here away from the people. We'll give you a, a bit of a zoom in over there of how many people are actually <laughs> there. But if anyone's wondering, we ate the whole cheese board last night. <laughs> And Megan drank more than half the bottle of wine. Yeah, so I feel surprisingly good though. She's a bit dusty <laughs> this morning. But we honestly woke up to the most amazing sunrise today. Yeah. Maybe that's why I feel pretty good. Dolphins, they're coming. One person on the beach and we're just here by ourselves. That's so good. Did you have a good time, Megan? Yeah, it was cool. I'm still <laughs> hoping we can see some more like further up here. Because last time we were here, we went for a walk down the beach and we saw them come right up to the shore. Yeah. But no, nice. very good. Nice we've, anniversary. Thank we've you. had three anniversaries with you guys. Yeah. I feel like it makes it a lot more special. I love sharing it with you guys and we hope you enjoyed coming good. along for this one as well. This one was the best. You think so? I reckon this one was the best. It's really nice because we actually never used to celebrate it and it was only no. once we left on our first lap that we just wanted to make a memory, I think. Yeah, so and anybody so it's who doesn't... like a tradition since then. Yeah, anybody who doesn't celebrate it, you should. And it doesn't have to be, you know, spending money on accommodation and things, but just like our very first one, we just went and sat by the beach in 1770 and we did get a fish and chips, so we spent money on that. But it was just the memory of watching that sunset. Yeah. And then last year at the Greenlee Carriage. Yeah, just, we've got so many memories. Yeah, so beautiful. And I especially loved with that anniversary, I asked you guys to leave me a comment about oh. what's a special memory that you'll always remember because you you know, made the memory, I guess. Yeah. So if you want to leave me another comment like that, I love reading them. Yes, please leave those comments. And guys, like Megan said, you don't have to do something fancy for your anniversary. Just wake up and say, I love you. Yeah. That That is enough. Love did you. That, did that give you goosebumps or what? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to clock off the vlog, guys. We'll see you next week. And next week. if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. We really appreciate it. Caught a fish. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
Can we get the yacht? They said, would you like the Willow Bridge? I said, that'd be perfect. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. <laughs> 